Hi, this is Marco Williams from PlayFab, and this is a continuation of our authentication series. In this video, we're going to cover logging in with Google. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is set up our Google account. So if I, I'm already logged in here to the Google Play console, and what I've done is I've just created a new application. So if you have no applications yet, you can click create an application and this will take you into the application screen. So you'll see here I've actually created an application and what we're going to need to do is set up the services and APIs section. And if I scroll down you will see there's this link use google play game services in this app so i'm going to go ahead and click that and looks like i need to accept some terms so i'm going to accept all and now there's this button that says set up google play game services so i'm going to click that and it's going to ask me some information about my game so this is a Play Fab authentication example. And I'll just set this to something. And I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And now this is going to set up my game title for using Google Play Games. And now that I've done that, I believe we need to get our JSON file because we're gonna have to set this up inside of Unity, but this is a little bit of preparation work. Now I haven't found a great way to get the JSON file. And the, the best way that I've found is to create an achievement. And so I'll click add an achievement and just say test here and click save. And once I've done that, there's this get resources and if I click that, this gives me the XML that I need to place inside of my setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this to my clipboard. Click done. Now I can actually remove this achievement because I don't actually need this. And now we're ready to start setting up Unity. Now, for right now, I'm just going to save save that XML for later. And I'm going to need to download Google Play Games Unity package. So I already have it open in, in a tab, but if we can just go to Google, inside of Google, you can type Google Play Games Unity. And the first link here is going to be the Google Play Games plugin for Unity. I'm going to click on releases and I'm just going to download the latest release zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this. Now that I've extracted that, I can go into the folder and go to current build and then I can actually download the latest version. <clears throat> I also found a shortcut to this. If I am on the repository, I can click on current build and then just get the one that's here. And it looks like this one's a little bit more current, but it's not going to be the officially released version that they've published under releases. So if you want to be kind of cutting edge build, you can use the current build here, or you can download the release and use the release build. We're going to use the release for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and it's going to import Google Play Games into my project. And I'm just going to say import. And it looks like we're done. So you should get this dialog. Uh, and this is basically confirming whether or not this is a new installation or an existing one and instructing you to set up your Android project. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to finish importing, letting it compile. 
So I got this error. This is probably because we had Facebook from our uh, last video and part of the Facebook SDK also uh, has the Google jar resolver. And so this is basically saying this is a newer version of this and these are obsolete files. So we're, it's going to delete them. I'm going to say yes. And now that we have it completely imported, I can go underneath windows and Google play games and we can do setup Android setup. So now in this resource definition, this is where we need to copy and paste that XML. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go ahead and paste it right in here. And since that was just the test achievement, I'm going to go ahead and delete out my test achievement out of there. So that's step one. So I'm going to go ahead and click set up and it's going to finalize this and say resolution is complete, but there's still more steps that we need to do. So I'm going to navigate back to my uh, Google play games console and we need to set up our Google play games account to give us our client ID. And we do this by, I think we do this by linking the apps. So under here, we have a few different options and one is going to be linking with Android. I generally link both. So I'll link first my Android app and it wants me to select a package name. Now I can't do this until, until I have uploaded a build or I could just go ahead and type in the name for now, but I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work without uploading a build. So let's try. So I'm going to go file, build settings, player settings, and I'm going to grab my package name. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And then I'm going to save and continue. So I'm going to click build and I'm going to build my auth sample APK file. And now that my build is complete and I have my APK, I can upload this to the Google play store. So let me rearrange my windows here a little bit. And so you don't upload it in the, Google Play game game services, we need to actually go back to our actual application. Let's see, why is it not picking this up? Let me refresh. Ah, there it is. And underneath app release, we just need to add this to, to like alpha. You can upload it to beta you can upload it to production, but as long as a release has been created. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Click create release. And then I'm going to click continue, accept. This is a brand new Google account. So there's some things that if you've had an existing account, you won't have these steps, but now I can just drag this file into this upload box. Now that our upload is complete, we can go back to our Google play console game services. And now I can authorize my application. It picks up my signing certificate and I can click confirm. Now I'm going to click Back. So this is the client ID, but this is not the client ID that we want to use for setting up Google Play Games. So I'm going to go back to the list and I'm going to continue to the next step. No, wait, nope. I'm going to click link another app and I'm going to select web. And for this launch URL, we need to use our PlayFab endpoint. 
I'm going to log in to PlayFab, which I've already done, and I've gone to my title. I'm going to go to Settings, click on API, and this API endpoint is what we want to use for our launch URL. And I'm going to save and continue. And then I'm going to click Authorize Your App Now. And this is going to pop up this dialog. And actually, I made a mistake. I don't want those double slashes there. So let me go back and remove the trailing slash. Save and continue. Authorize your app now. There we go. It's gone. Click confirm. And this is the client ID that we want. So I'm going to copy and paste that into uh, in, into our setup. So I'm back in Unity, Window, Google Play Games, Setup, Android Setup, and I'm going to paste that key right here and click Setup. In addition, in PlayFab, we need to enable the add-on. So if I click on Add-ons and I come into the Google add-on under platforms and I need to install the Google add-on so to do that click install and it's going to ask me for a few values and not all of these are required for uh, Google Play sign-in to work uh, these have very different uses um, so let's kind of go over them this would be your this Google app package ID is the same thing as your package name so if I went file build settings player settings under other settings my package name that's what we would put there so here I can put com dot playfab dot auth example The Google Auth Client ID and Google Auth Secret are what we need for Google Authentication. And so to get those, we have to go back to our linked apps. And under this, where you have and your client secret, um, we would click this link here in the Google APIs console. So I'm going to open that in a new window. And you'll see I have my two client IDs that one is for Android, one is for web. So I'm going to click on the web one. And here we have our client ID, which was the URL that we had before and my client secret. So I'm going to copy these and paste them, oops, and paste them into PlayFab. This Google app license key, that comes from your Google Play Console under service and APIs. And you can copy this whole entire string under license and in-app billing. And you can paste it in here. That is not required. It is for authentication. It is for Google receipt validation. So if you're validating receipts, which will be a video in another series, that is what this key is for. And then I'm going to install Google. And now that this is installed and our Unity installation of Google Play Game Services is complete, we can actually start working on some code.